Discover 5 mind-blowing mass transition effects for your videos in CapCut PC. Let's use those videos as an example. Drag and drop them into the timeline. The video before the transition is placed on the first layer, and the video after the transition is placed on the second layer. Click on the second layer. Go to the Video Mask tab. Choose Horizontal Shape. Rotate minus 90 degrees. Move the mask line to the left until it is out of the screen. Then move the playhead until the tree blocking fully appears. Add a little mask feathering. Then add a mask keyframe. Move the playhead forward by the frames. Adjust the mask line to position the tree. Move the playhead forward by the frames. Adjust the mask line to position the tree. Continue this process until the tree blocking fully disappear. Now let me play the video and show you what we have. Next, we can add a sound effect. Search for a transition sound in the audio library, add it to your project. Adjust the length of the audio and the speed of the video so that they match each other. Bam. 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 And there you have it. Bam. Let's get started. Begin by dragging the desired background video into the CapCut timeline. Move the play cursor forward a few frames to set the overlay video starting point. Next, drag another video into the timeline, preferably a drone footage of a road. Now, navigate to the video mask option and select mirror. Rotate the mirror as desired and adjust its size. Proceed by adding a mask keyframe at the beginning of the overlay video. Move the play cursor forward in the timeline, and then adjust the mirror mask to create the desired video transition effect, adding some feathering for a smoother transition effect. And there you have it.
Let's start by dragging the background footage onto the timeline. And adjusting its duration to 6 seconds. Depending on your needs, adjust the video ratio. Here, I've set it to 16 to 9. Make sure to scale the background to match the ratio. Next, drag the clock and the transition clip onto the timeline, layering them on top of each other. Place the clock on the top layer and the transition clip in the middle. Click on the clip in the middle layer, go to the video mask. And choose the circle option. Resize the circle mask to match the size of the clock. Now click on the clock layer. Move the playhead to the one second mark. Go to Video Basics and add a transform keyframe. Move the playhead to the 2 second mark. Shift the clock to the left out of the preview screen. and rotate it 180 degrees. Move the playhead to the 3 second mark. Click on the clip in the middle layer and add a transform keyframe. At the 4 second mark, adjust the scale. Return the playhead to the 3 second mark. Go to Video Mask, add a mask keyframe. Move the playhead to the 4 second mark. Adjust the mass size to cover the entire screen. And there you have it. Let's use this video as an example. To start, drag your video onto the timeline. Next, head to the stock materials and add a black background to the timeline. Move it to the upper layer and position it at one second. Click on Freeze. Adjust the duration to match your video. Then, go to Video Basic. Click on Blend, choose Overlay, and adjust the opacity as needed. This step is crucial for setting the mood and changing the atmosphere of your video. Now it's time to add an artistic touch to our video. Navigate to the mask feature in CapCut and select the horizontal mask option. Rotate the mask line as needed.
add a feathering effect. And then move it out of the preview screen. Add a mask keyframe at the starting position of the black clip. Move the plate head forward and adjust the mask line accordingly. Once completed, observe how the video transitions from day to night. This technique adds depth and drama to your visual effects. Experiment with different mask styles and angles to create unique and visually appealing effects in your videos. Let's use this video as an example. To start, copy and paste it. On the second clip, go to Video Remove BG and select Auto Removal. Then, add another background underneath the video. Adjust the duration. Now, it's time to start masking. Move the playback cursor to the start position. Select the middle layer video. Go to Video Mask. Choose the horizontal option and rotate it accordingly. Adjust the mask as needed and place it behind the subject. Here we move to the right side of the screen. Then, add a mask keyframe. Next, move the playback cursor forward. As the subject moves, drive the mask line along with them along the way match the subject. Add some feathering. Continue this process until the end of the clip. And there you have it, a simple yet effective mask transition. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!